bound in the parameterized types. Generics will not be complete if this section is not covered. It is all about bounding parametric types. Till now, we have said parametric types operate on a single Java type like object or string. Now, let us see how the parametric types can be restricted by applying some constraint over them. Animal.java package generics.bounds public abstract class animal for this to be illustrated, let us take a sample application called Animal Actions. Animal Actions class performed various operations on a given animal like making them eat, sleep and run. The first constraint that we see here is that only an animal object can be passed to the Animal Action class. Let us represent the Animal class as follows. Note the animal class is declared as abstract, meaning that some other concrete class is going to extend the animal class. Another restriction that we see in animal actions class is that they will make the animal to sleep, eat and run. Since these are behaviors and we may give different representation for the same, let them be moduled as interfaces. Following code shows the interface design for the actions. Package generics.bounds interface sleepable public void sleep interface runnable public void run interface eatable public void eat. Let us give implementation of the above behavior for some animal, say dog. The following code snippet is for the implementation of dog which confirms to eat, sleeping and running behavior. Now let us design the animal action class. The restriction we have on animal cl action class is that we should operation on any type of object that is an animal which can eat, sleep and run. Look into the following animal action class. The declaration of the parameterized class look like the following. Public class animal action uh, extend animal and sleepable and runnable and eatable. Let us break down the pieces in the above declaration. The first trivial stuff that has to be noted is the declaration of the parameter A which is for animal the next set of experiences are imposing restriction on the type parameter A. The phase A extend animal tells that whatever type we pass for the distribution parameter must extend implement the animal class or interface. The type that comes after extend can either be an interface or a class. It is legal to mention something like the following public class animal action uh, implements some interface. Only extend keyword is used for both classes as well the interfaces and not the implements keyword. If we want the parametric type to confirm by more than one classes or interface then every type should be separated by the symbol and. For example in our case we want some animal to eat, sleep and run by implementing the eatable, sleepable and runnable interface. So we have declared something like animal actions 
uh, extent animal and sleepable and runnable and eatable to sum up something the generic class declaration can be interpreted like this it can be passed with any type that implements or extend animal sleepable runnable and eatable types following code snippet make use of the above animal actions class in the above code a new instance of dog object is created and passed onto the constructor of the animal actions class this is perfectly valid as the dog class extends the animal class and it also implements sleepable eatable and runnable interfaces it then make a call to animal actions dot do actions thereby the execution gets directed towards dog dot sleep dog dot eat and dog dot run